How to do Windows updates. At the time Windows 8.1 was released, it had all of its patches and fixes. However, as time passes, exploits are found and more patches are released. Windows updates is basically a way to keep Windows up to date. By keeping it current, you can protect your computer from potential malware attacks. And Microsoft has made it really easy to do these Windows updates. So all we need to do over here on the lower left is right click on the start button and then we can go up to system and then down here on the lower left there is a Windows update link if I click on this I can see that some updates has already been installed as my computer was just sitting here in idle so all I need to do is simply click on the restart button as Windows updates installs right now it's in the process of shutting down it will try to install some updates on the way down. You want to be sure to not unplug your computer or force it to shut down. You want to leave this running. And the reason why is because if you decide to turn off your computer or force it to shut down during an install, this could actually corrupt your operating system. If your operating system becomes corrupt, it may require a reinstall or a reformat. Once it's done installing, it'll come back up just going to click here and then go ahead and log in. And then click on desktop again and basically just repeat procedure. So I'm just right clicking here, going to system, choosing Windows Update. And it says no updates are available, but you can still continue to check by clicking on check for updates. So it looks like we have maybe one important update available, so I'll go ahead and click on that link there. Just to see what it is. It looks like Windows 8.1 update for x64 based systems. I'll go ahead and install that. only about 890.2 megabytes. Once the install is done, I can click restart. So before I click, I'll just go ahead and click restart now. Before I end this video, I just want to let you know that pretty much all the updates will be this way. You just go to Windows Updates and check for updates and you just pretty much keep doing it until it says there are no more updates.